right so let's make our notifications a bit more expressive so that we can know which notification is which because this is monotonous here I can know which one to click first because they have exactly the same content so what I will do is I will come to here since we're getting the content here and we know this is a post so we know we have the content there that is good so what we can do is come to image because we know that we have the image in here so I'm just going to go to post.php and copy the segment where we have we are echoing out the image and this is uh, where is that so that's the text and this part right here is the image if file exists that's the one so I'm going to copy that and go to single right here right after the image I'm going to put that there tab it in so if fire exists now we're going to remove raw and put content raw like that the width here we're going to be very specific 100 pixels And we have to make sure that image class is actually activated as well so let's do this here actually it's not good to instantiate things inside the loop as i said earlier so let's let's do it here Mm -hmm. so let's refresh so now you see we have images here which is uh, pretty good now the images are much much higher much bigger than uh, the height of the notification bar is 40 pixels so I think we should maintain that okay that's the one and then the difference is let me have these float to the right I think that would be much better and then the date I want the date to not float anymore let me see if I remove that what happens aha uh -huh. that's much better so I'll remove the float here for the date so we have this now you liked your image and you can see the image here which is pretty good and yeah and the time down there so much more expressive let me come back to notifications with php and add more more margin very bottom here six pixels okay there we go so you liked your image you liked your image we can see the image and so so I want to see where we you just like your post so we can see a bit of text for the post here so let, let let me log out into the other and go to notifications mm. okay so let me go to my own profile here and I can like I don't actually have a text oh I do so right here let me click like go to you liked your post so finally it's not an image uh, Mary fo followed your profile good and then there's you liked your post so here I want to see a little bit of the text from the post here so what I will do is go to single notification.php right where okay so when this is the case because if it's a post we're going through here 
and then if it's not if it's an image we're going through here but if it's text we're going through here so right here i will say echo i will actually use the span as it is copy this paste there a little tabbing So now instead of the date, and I want this to float to the right. So now instead of the date, I'm going to put uh, a little bit of the content row post. So I just want to stop that connect like that and then put that here content row post but this is unsanitized data just like we show it here so I will use this convention HTML special chars so back to no, single notification HTML special chars close bracket Alrighty then, let's do that. So that's the text to the post, but because of uh, abbreviate, uh, the break tag here, I'm pushing everything down. So let me remove the break tag. Okay, there we go. And then it's better I put it in quotes. So I will put single quotes here and there. Aha. Uh -huh then I should limit the amount of text because sometimes it could be a whole story here and it's going to mess up the way things look here. So I think maybe 50 characters should be enough to give a sample. So I will use a sub string. Sub string, so what is the string? The string is this one, boom. Where are you starting from? I'm starting from zero, but then I only want to go to 100, uh, is it 100? 50. So you can change the length to suit your design. And there we go. Okay, so at least now, even if there are several posts, you can see which post was liked and yeah now let's remove this part where it tells you what you did so you liked your post this is unnecessary information so if we go, come back to the table here you see that uh, notifications let's go to notifications so right now we are querying where the current user is the content owner but then we can also tell it to exclude where the user id is the current user Okay, so where, yes, where the user ID is equal to current user as well. So let's go to notification.php down to the query. So this is the ID. Yep, that's my ID. So I'm going to say where content owner is equal to that and, or maybe I can put it here where user id is not equal to id and content id is equal to that okay that should sort the problem out so all those that i did myself are out so let's log out and try with mary password go to notifications and as you can see as well here where I was doing something where this user was doing something uh, gone. So liked your image, liked your image and so on. Okay, so now we're going to include comments in the coming videos. See you then.